Let's learn how to play Jack and Diane on a four string cigar box guitar. This isn't a blues song, but it's using a lot of the same concepts that we learned on the Rolling Stones' Midnight Rambler, where you have this open chord, and then you have this 0201, that chord right there. We used that a little bit in Midnight Rambler. We used it elsewhere in other lessons. Before we get started, I want to warn you, this is a long lesson. In fact, there are four, actually five different riffs in this entire lesson. So let me encourage you, as you're working on it, after you learn one riff, take a break. Bookmark where you left this video off and just go and play. Uh, if you look in the description of this video, I time marked where each different riff starts. And then in the end, I also show you how you can take one of these chords and play a lot of Keith Richards type of stuff. I wanted to give you a full video instead of releasing this over four or five weeks. Don't let the length of this video get you down. Just take this one part at a time until you get it. You got this. So let's get into it. First of all, I want you to tune your cigar box guitar not to open G. I want you to take it up one step to an open A, which is A, E, A, C sharp. 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 Now most four string cigar box guitars can handle being strung up this high. Um, it's only one step up from open G. If your guitar seems to be pulling too much or if, you know, just seems like it has too much tension and it's pulling the strings off the fretboard, you can always tune it to open G and capo it at the second fret. So if you need to do that, do that and then go from there. Now here's a cool fact about Jack and Diane. The guitarist on there was not John Cougar Mellencamp. It was actually Mick Ronson, the guitarist from David Bowie's Ziggy Stardust era. Well, they brought him in for the sessions. The song's basically three chords. And what he did was he changed up the riffs in order to give it variety throughout the whole song. So instead of going... <laughs> And then he went on the high strings. Let's break this song down one riff at a time. And there's no slide. This is a fretted cigar box guitar lesson, which is why I'm using the Red Barn kit from CB Giddy. It is a four string cigar box guitar, fully fretted. Whenever I built this, I kept the action nice and low because I knew I really wouldn't be doing a lot of slide work. I wanted a four string to do fretted stuff. <laughs> Now, the song was originally done on a six-string acoustic guitar that Mick Ronson bought in a pawn shop in order to make the sessions. I've arranged this for a four-string cigar box guitar. It's not exactly how Mick played it, but it's the best that I could approximate for a cigar box guitar, and I think it sounds pretty darn cool. This riff is all about the picking hand. And if you have a tough time with the picking hand, this is going to be something you're really gonna to have to work hard on. And we're gonna take it slow and let you know how it's done. The fretting hand is simple. I start on the second string, fifth fret. And then I go to the fourth fret. Back to the fifth. 
the fourth, then to this chord, zero, two, zero, one, zero, two, zero, one. Notice my middle finger stayed on that second string the whole time. Watch this. It makes it easier to play the riff if I don't move fingers around. That middle finger stays on that second fret. Five, four, five, four. And then that zero, two, zero, one chord. Got that? Okay. Picking hand. It's all about playing that rhythm. So it's So it's even slower. You want to build it up so you got that rhythm going. That's the hardest lick of the entire song. It may take you a, a many practices. Remember, that pick gets held nice and relaxed. You don't want to squeeze. You're holding it nice. You want to be strumming it, you know, like, like Bob Dylan. You want to be strumming it like an old folky. Okay, here's time for your intermission. That was the first riff, and we're about to get into the second riff. If you still need time to practice, bookmark this video right here. Okay, second lick. This is fun. This is this is the lick that got me into the song because I was messing on my guitar and I went. And I'm like, oh wait, wait, that's Jack and Diane. So it starts with open, but then it hits that zero two zero one uh, chord. That zero two zero one chord. That is a beautiful thing. So you go open zero two zero one chord, open, and then take that chord and move it up two steps. And you want to make sure you hear that slide. And then it goes. So it goes this rhythm. And then I take my ring finger and I hit the high string at the fifth fret. That may take you a little time to get used to your fingers being on there.
So it goes. fret. Play it again. And then it goes to the 0 2 0 1 chord and then open. Turtle speed. Here we go. That's the riff. All right, that was lick number two. Let's get into lick number three. If you still need more time, stop this video right here and bookmark it and go practice. Okay, then that high lick. Oh, that's the easiest of them all. My pointer finger is at the 12th fret across second, third, and fourth strings. Let that low string, let that ring out. Then I take my middle finger and I hit it on 13 on the high string. See that? And then I go to the seventh fret and I'm only playing the second, third, and fourth strings. This low string is always ringing out in the high riff. So you got seventh fret, and then fifth fret, seventh fret, and then go to the eighth on the high string. It's a little tough. You're pushing kind of hard. You're getting your fingers in there. Um, it's not like you're just simply letting your hands flop around. No, you're actually pushing on those frets and, and getting those strings to ring out. Mine's sounding a little sharp as I'm playing because I have to push hard because I'm going slow for you guys. If I'm going at full speed, I don't hear uh, the strings going sharp. <laughs> Whenever I'm sitting here, man, that sounds sharp. That's just because I'm overcompensating. Twelve with that high thirteen. Seven. Five, five, seven with that high eight. So you play it once the way I showed you. And then play it again. And then just go 5, 7, 12. what time it is now yes it's time for riff number three if you didn't get riff number two stop this video and bookmark it and go work on that for a while we'll be waiting for you the last part the bridge um has a couple parts to it first is don't let it rock which is open open and then zero three two one zero three two one this diagonal chord. I taught you this chord in Midnight Rambler. Don't let it rock. For the let it roll, let's go to that 0201 chord from before. Let it roll. 0201. Don't let it rock. 
Second one is let the Bible Belt come and sing to my soul. So it does the same thing in the beginning. Let the Bible Belt come in and then put your finger across the fifth fret. And then go five, seven, five, six. So across, and then you're going to use these two fingers here and here. Five, seven, five, six. You position your fingers like that. Let the Bible Belt come in, sing the my, sing the my, and then let these two fingers go. Soul, sing the my soul, sing the my soul. We're going to come back and I'm going to tell you something about this at the end of the lesson. So make sure you come because this is going to, you're going to use this in other songs. Let the Bible Belt come in, sing the my soul. Do 16 as long as you can. Same as the first verse. Open three, two, one. As long as you can. Jesus come around real soon. Make you seventh fret the whole way across. Women and men. So the last part. Changes come around soon. Make you women and men. Changes come around real soon make you seventh fret women and men open And now for some bonus content. I'm going to show you how you take those chords and do some cool Keith Richards stuff. If you haven't got that last riff, stop it here and bookmark. Now I said to pay attention to this riff where your fingers across the fifth fret and you go five, seven, five, six. See that? That is what Keith Richards does on half of the Rolling Stones songs. He uses that to stuff like this. Half of it, that's all he's doing, is one finger across and then hitting these strings here. Keith Richards stuff. I mean, serious. So much from it. So there you go. Jack and Diane. There's a lot to this. If you learn this song, it is really going to help your picking hand. Take your time with it. Take your time with it. You'll get it. You just got to get loose and got to get that strumming where you're like... The guitar I'm using in this lesson is the CB Giddy Red Barn Mountain Acoustic. This is my favorite of the three. I get a lot of inspiration from this one. Uh, it's purely acoustic, no plug-in or anything. It's one of those I'm sitting around the house, I'm playing, I'm enjoying, I'm loving, and it's just so loud. And it features the artwork that I designed. It is patterned after an old tobacco advertising barn. And you can get the whole kit over at cbgiddy.com slash red barn. Thank you, CB Giddy, for the support. And if you want to support this channel, remember, stubbyslide.com. That's where I have all the guitar slides. I have my book, Making Poor Man's Guitars. I even have my own handmade cigar box guitars like this one for sale over there. Check it out, stubbyslide.com. And for cool blues shirts, check out guitarrags.com guitarrags.com, all kind of cigar box guitar shirts, a lot of new ones over there too. 
Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. And you know what? Share this video with someone else. <laughs> <laughs>